Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the optimal solution for a classical linear regression problem when we consider a weighted sum of squares error function. That is, given a set of examples, that is a bunch of vectors x of xn where n is equal to 1 to n, that is we have n samples that is each of them is a vector and then we have a vector of targets Tn for a regression problem these Tn are basically real numbers now we want to consider a weighted sum of squares error function a weighted sum of squared error function that is the error function e of w is defined as 1 by 2 the summation from n for summation with n equal to 1 to n over the weights a n multiplied by t n minus w transpose phi of x n squared sum of weighted and squared error values. So our goal is to find the optimal solution for the weight vector w. Note that this weight vector w is different from the weights a n. These are the weights for the error function or for finding the error function and this w is for the prediction or this weight vector w is related to the prediction function h. That is h of w comma x n is equal to w transpose phi of x n where is phi is the feature transformation function it is usually non-linear function they are also known as basis functions so the optimal solution to this problem is simply the derivative can be determined by equating the derivative of the error function with respect to w to 0 now before continuing with the derivative we want to rewrite the product w transpose phi of x and as phi transpose xn multiplied by w since this is a basically a dot product between two vectors you can rewrite it as w transpose phi of xn can be rewritten as phi transpose of xn w that is they are basically equal to a scalar so we can rewrite them as follows so the derivative of the error function is equal to derivative of 1 by 2 the sum a n t n minus phi transpose x of n phi transpose of x n into w whole square and this should be equal to 0 this implies that the derivative 1 by 2 and the a n is independent of w so it can be written as it is and then we have the derivative of the square which is 2 times t n minus phi transpose x n w and the derivative of this product which is minus of phi of xn and this should be equal to 0 so this should be and this equation can be rewritten as summation n a n phi transpose of xn multiplied by phi transpose of xn and then this sum is multiplied by the weight vector w which is equal to the sum of this a n times t n minus and this should be equal to the sum a n t n and phi of x n note that the sum on the right hand side will still result in a vector with same dimensions with the dimensions same as the function phi of x n therefore the optimal solution w star is given by the sum a n t n phi of x n over the sum a n phi transpose of x n into phi of x n and since this product is a scalar so the denominator must be a scalar therefore the optimal solution is basically a weighted sum of the product of the target values and the basis functions with the weights a n and of course divided by this scalar and you can clearly see that a n's are equal to 1 for all n then 
then the optimal solution W star is the same as the solutions for the least squares, that is the classical least square solution. Thanks for watching.